Now let us talk about what we call it relative density. After so far, we have discussed about density, density in liquid, density of regular substance, and density of irregular substance. So far, we have something so important here to discuss about relative density. A relative density is all about comparing. So we are just making the comparison between the two things. One, we are making the comparison between density density of substance apart from that of water and density of water. So this is what we call it relative density and that is why we say relative density is the density of the substance per density of water. That is the ratio of the density of the substance to density of water. That is what we definitely call it a relative density. Correlative density ni sawasawa na density ya kitu unagawanya kwa density ya maji. Kwa maana hiyo density ya substance ukigawanya na density ya water ndo unapata kitu ambacho kinaitwa relative density. And therefore relative density will be determined by taking density of the substance and density of water. But Remember, density of water is definitely constant. That is 1 gram per centimeter cubic, or that is 1,000 kilogram per meter cubic. This is what we have in our lifetime. So, if now you are calculating for that relative density, you have to know one thing, that the density of water is definitely constant. And once it is written in gram per centimeter cubic, that is 1. But once it is written in kilogram per meter cubic, that is 1,000 kilogram per meter cubic. Kwa hiyo unapambio kukalkulete kitu ambayo tunaita relative density, lazima sasa ujue kwamba ni naitaji niwe na density of water ambao ni 1 gram per centimeter cubic au niwe na 1,000 kilogram per meter cubic. Sasa inategemea na swala ambavu umepewa. Kama umepewa ziko in terms of gram, lazima sasa utumie gram per centimeter cubic. Lakini kama umepewa hiko kwenye kilogram per meter, kilogram per meter cubic, lazima sasa na, na density of water utumie kilogram per meter cubic. And that is why we say, relative density, the number of times a substance is denser than water. That is, we are just comparing about density of water and density of the substance. So by just taking about the ratio of density of the substance to density of water, that is what we term as relative density. So by definition, relative density. So in short, relative density is the ratio of the density of the substance to density of water. So mathematically can be written as relative density is equal now to density of substance over density of water. But remember, density of substance is written in gram per centimeter cubic, and that is density of water is gram per centimeter cubic, or it is kilogram per meter cubic, and that of water is kilogram per meter cubic. Therefore, by doing so, this may cancel out and this may cancel out. That is why the relative density has no unit. Now, the relative density has no unit. The relative density has no unit. Has no unit. Why is it so? Because it the ratio of the two densities, which are written in the same unit. So, whenever now you are determined the relative density, you won't find what we call it unit. And why the reason? The reason behind is that uh, this is the ratio of the two densities. Now, if now you are calculating this one, you won't find that one. Now, this is how, in short, we say it is the relative density is equal to density of substance over density of water. Ko haina kizio. Haina kizio kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu Babu ni, ni ratio ya densities mbili ambao zina unit moja, ambao zina cancel out ambapo ina back. That's how we can determine the relative density of the substance. What is so important here is to understand the density of water is constant and it may be given in terms of gram per centimeter cubic or 1000 kilogram per meter cubic. Kwa hivyo ndivyo tunadetermine relative density of the substance.